Yeah, okay, it's gone. Okay. <laughs> okay, here's the first question. What? Give a little intro. Tell them what here's the definition. Uh, give me here. no, let's just do it. Uh here's the definition. Give me the term, the search for causes. Go. Benjamin. Science. Science. Yeah, or if you liked um Bill Nye. Science. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, do you should do 0304. Oh, they're old. They're old. Just put beans for our team. They're 0304. They're 05. We're this side is 05. Other than Jaggers. Jaggers, Jaggers, the elder one. Jaggers, Jaggers, the elder one. Is that a great one? Here's the definition. Give me the term. Uh, the fact that transitional forms of species could not survive, what is that called? Go. Yes. No. Okay. Two of the four words you need are in this statement. So I'll say it again. The fact that transitional forms of species could not survive. Just literally changing the uh, could not survive and adding on two words that are in here. Yes. The fact that transitional. It's a, it's a principle. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> we shouldn't laugh. Uh, it, it, was, it was, I mean, I almost want to give it a point because it was so cute, but no. <laughs> Uh, uh, do I need to give this to you? This will help you in future ones. And you're going to go, ah. Non viability of transitional forms. Non viability of transitional forms. It's literally what it says. So, okay. Here's the definition. Give me the word. The belief that all life forms descended by natural processes from a common ancestor go. Yes, Jamie. Yes. Macroevolution. Macroevolution. Macro uh, here's the definition. Give me the term. The belief that the universe and all living things have a first cause go. Yes. Intelligent design. Intelligent design. Uh, here's the definition. Give me the term. The, well, bless you. Uh, the fittest creatures survive go. Yes, Justin. David, David, that is a definition of it, not the, uh, not the term. I gotta have one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> a system composed of parts that are each necessary for the sim system to function. Go, Justin. Irreducible complexity. Uh, next question. Ch this, give me the term. Um, changes over time within a species. Go, Addie. Microevolution. Micro uh, next question. The belief that God created the first life, but what followed was a blind process. Go. Yes. Uh, yep. Theistic evolution. Uh, true or false? Intelligent design is consistent with the Bible, but not based on the Bible. Go. Diane. True. That is true. Um, the, the Husker men's basketball team lost, unfortunately, to uh, North Carolina State last night. How many overtime periods did they play? Go. Yes. Yep. Nope. Yep. Nope. Anybody want to guess? Five. Nope. But you're close. Four. They lost a hundred. They lost one hundred and four to one hundred in four overtimes, and I watched the whole doggone thing. Okay, uh, it was really it was sad, but it gave me hope. Like that was NC State. That's not like a blue blood program. Not maybe a blue blood, but it's a good program. It's better to be the best losers. Anyway, win. no, it's better to be a winner no more. <laughs> okay, next question. Um, give me. Oh, this is true or false? 
A car engine and a human cell are both examples of irreducibly complex systems. Go, Justin. That's true. Um, um, you, and you're welcome. You know, not. Um, so, uh, next question. That's not it. Uh, Darwinists, this is true or false? Uh, Darwinists assert that macroevolution is proof of microevolution. Go, Justin. That's, that's the other way around. Good, good get on that, Justin. Um, the God of the gaps fallacy occurs when people falsely believe that God caused true or false. By the way, God caused an uh, caused an event that was actually the result of unknown natural processes. Go, uh, Lorelai. That's true. Uh, true or false? Theistic evolution solves all the problems with macroevolution. Go. Yeah, Justin. That's false. <laughs> uh, because there's still the issues of the fossil record and everything else. Um, uh, true or false? Microevolution has never been observed. Go, Addy. False. false. Um, no, true or false? Once evidence of Darwinism is once one excuse me one evidence of Darwinism is the numerous numbers numerous trans transitional fossils within the fossil record. Go, Justin. There are none. Okay, now, this is going to be a multiple choice, so don't stand up until I give you all the possibilities. Everybody got that? Okay, which of the following is not a reason why Darwinists persist in their thinking? Which one is not a reason why Darwinists persist in their thinking? They don't want to lose their livelihood, uh, A. B, they don't want to admit that they are not the supreme authority on causes. C, they hate Christians. D, they don't want to submit to divine authority. Go. Ashton, that was C. They don't hate Christians. At least not all of them. Not all of them. <laughs> Maybe one or two. Um, so same thing. Uh, four options. Which of the following studies the past, singularities, and what is not repeatable? Which of the following studies the past, singularities, and what is not repeatable? Empirical science, forensic science, logic, History, go. Yes. What? Uh, yes, you're right. B, forensic science. Yeah. Which of the following studies the past, singularities, and what is not repeatable? So, like, think of an accident scene. They can't go back and reenact that, but they can, through evidence in the accident, know what happened. Does that make sense? Yeah. But they can't say, okay, you take your car there. and you Now, they do many, like, reenactments, but that's after they figured it out. They can't actually repeat the, the accident. Hopefully. Ah, uh, that'd be dangerous. Uh, okay, next question. Okay. Um, I am going to give you, if you get this whole thing, I'm going to give you two points. Why are the issues of the age of the earth and the length of days in Genesis not the primary issue in the Darwinist and, uh, versus uh, intelligent design debate? Go. Yes. No. No. I'm asking for, I'll say that again because I think it's a little bit confusing. We'll start over. Um, so why are the issues of the age of the earth and the length of days not the primary issue in the uh, Dar Darwinist and idea debate? In other words, when we begin arguing about how old the earth is or was it six 24-hour days, um, that takes us off topic because that's not the main issue. What is the main issue? John, Josiah? No. Nope. Uh, it's whether or not it was created by an intelligent being or an 
Okay, I'm going to give you the two points. It's close enough. You would have gotten the answer from that. Here's what the book says. That the earth was created is more important than when the earth was created. Does that make sense? That the earth was created is more important uh, than when the earth was created. Uh, okay. Uh, where is the Husker volleyball team seated in the national tournament? Go. Yes. Ten. Yes, they are the 10th overall seed. <laughs> Going to play Campbell. Everybody heard of Campbell, right? I don't even no. know where it is. Uh, 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 University. I know a person in Campbell. Yeah, well, and my seventh grade PE teacher had the last in Campbell, and actually her husband was my seventh grade science teacher. But I don't think it's named after them. Lovely people, though. Um, so I have a hilarious story about seventh grade science, but I won't tell it now. Uh, okay, um, which of the following studies the present, regularities, and what is in, uh, repeatable? Empirical science, forensic science, logic, or history? Go. Uh, golly, you were all at the same time. I'm going to go with Benjamin because I haven't uh, spoken with him for a while. No. <laughs> yes. Empirical science. Uh, which of the following, again, this is a multiple choice, which of the following is an answer to the objection that intelligent design is religiously motivated? So which of the following is an answer to the objection that intelligent design is religiously motivated. Uh, a, the fossil record has no transitional species. B, intelligent design does not place God in the gaps. C, science is a, the search for causes. D, a scientist's motivation or bias doesn't necessarily mean he or she is wrong. Go. Bam. Nope. Yep. D. D. Uh, most scientists probably have biases. Uh, they probably believe one way or the other. That doesn't mean that they're not doing good science. In both cases, it doesn't mean that. Uh, what what means that someone's doing bad science is if the science is bad, not if they're not if they have a bias. Uh, here, okay, here's the definition. Give me the term. Oh, I already asked that one. I'm going to ask it again and see if anyone can get it right. The inability of changing life forms to survive during the change. Go. Yes. Non-viability of transitional species. There you go. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> or transitional forms, but you would have got it. Yeah. Uh, here's the definition. Give me the term. These are built into the basic types. Uh, these are built into the basic types, and it disproves the, uh, the microevolution within types. Oh, that. Okay, let's try it again. Uh, these are built into the basic types, and it disproves that microevolution within types proves macro, macro evolution has occurred. Advanced blood cell structure. Yes. I need the term. I mean, that's just as good. <laughs> Anybody? You can give it a shot. Genetic. You got it. The medic limits. <laughs> uh, here's the definition, uh, and uh, give me the term. A system composed of several well-matched interacting parts that contribute to the basic function, wherein the removal of any one of the parts would cause the system to effectively cease to function. Go. Yes. Addy. Irreducible. Irreducible complexity. Very good. Uh, you'll be reading these, so you'll be able to like figure it out better that way. Okay, uh, even though, so same thing, uh, even though all organisms share a common genetic code, the code has ordered amino acids and proteins so that the basic types are in isolation for, uh, to one another. There, there's a word in there that should give you a clue. Go. Yes. That's not it. The isolation part is kind of cold. Perfect one. Wait, anybody? Okay. Go. Oh. Molecular isolation. Molecular isolation. Um, changes, same thing, changes that are not directional toward the development of new life forms, but simply shift back and forth within a limited range. Go. Yes. Cyclical. 
cyclical change. Name a song that we sang in chapel today. Go. Diane. You make me break. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Looks like we won. The youngins won. Um, okay. Yeah. 